Here's a closer look at that Haunting a Hill House facade. Hello everyone, this is Ethan from the Orlando Tours, and we're here, we're here at Universal today on Thursday, August 26th, and we're going to check out the new Trivi store that's opening up for pass holder previews today at 1 o'clock, and we're also going to go check out some of the new construction around the resort as well, so stay tuned. So we are now entering Universal Studios and the park did open at 9 and it's like 9.30 right now. And the trivia store does open at 1 for pass holders. So we might reserve a spot in line now or we'll just grab a spot pretty soon. So first, we are going to check out the Universal Studios store because they have some Halloween Horror Nights merch right here. We have the Icons merch, we have the shirt, the shot glasses, the cups, we've covered these in our last videos. So they do have the new Scare Zone shirt here though. This looks like a really cool shirt featuring all the Scare Zones. Love the art design, it's $30. Okay. They also have the new pin and keychain over here. And that is $14 for the keychain. The pin with the same design is $12. They have the lanyards and the deluxe lanyard here. They have the other shirt here, the same design as the pin. It's a pretty neat shirt. And that one is $35. And they just brought out the mystery pins. The mystery pin collection, it includes two pins. This is the limited chaser pin. And there's seven total. So that's a limited edition pin. It comes with two per box, and it's $16. You cannot return it. They have the Studio Screamers magnets, and they have the pins as well. The pins, I know, are $55. And they also have new buttons as well. Four pack, in addition to the old one. They're both $11. And they have a new license plate. And we have some new Monsters Cups. We have a lot of Beetlejuice merch over here. The four pack of pins, cotton candy, magnets. They have the Jack Saw Blade over here. There's a lot of stuff around this whole store. We got the denim jacket right here. A lot of denim jackets. We have some Studio Screamer shirts in here. A lot more shirts over here. Let me get to the Studio Screamer shirts. Here they are, long sleeve. And then, we should also have some more merchandise over here. Universal Monsters with some Loungefly bags. We have the shirts from the Five and Dime. And then we have the new Monsters pin. And we have the keychain as well. And there should be the Studio Screamer set of um, pop figures. I do not know where they are. I don't see them anywhere. We have the masks here though. We have some woman shirts. We have Beetlejuice section over here, some Chucky shirts, a lot of Howling Horror Nights merchandise, and you are not going to run out in this store. So definitely check it out in the front of the park. They also have this wall art here, just like the Jack Saw Blade, but for the icons as well. Some of the icons. Chucky's not really an icon though. So we have just left the main Universal Studios store and we are going to head over to the tribute store now, which is opening for pass holders today. Team members already had their preview this morning, and they will continue to have the preview until one o'clock. This is the icon zone, or the anniversary zone. We have a lot more candles lined up around this zone. And we have the red X's there, which are also kind of new. But all these candles are now lining the stage. So that's really cool to see. It's the only update in this zone. A lot of the zones are pretty much fully constructed and don't have any further updates. And we also do have like a mesh screen over here too. So that's it for the anniversary zone today. Looks like we have a new truss structure going up. 
with some netting. I don't know if this is for a carnival game or what this is for. I'm assuming it is Horror Nights related. So we'll have to see what this is. And the other tent over there has some cool food items and they did just put out the menu for most of the food tents. We're gonna go over those. This is this weird structure though with some netting. I have no clue what this is for. So we did cover all the food tents and scare zones when we were here last week. Well, let's show you the menu for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre food tent over here. And if you want to pause the video to look at the menu, definitely do that. So we are heading over to the tribute store. It doesn't look like pass holders can line up yet, but we do have some, I think, waiting around. And team members can still go in the store. It's a special event. 1 p.m. pass holders, and that's the special line for us. This is pretty neat. Can't believe the tribute store is officially open. We can't go inside right yet, but we are gonna see if we can get a little view of the first room. Hard to see right now, but we'll go in it later and we'll get some stuff later for you guys. So I just got informed that the pass holder preview for the tribute store is gonna start at noon today and not one o'clock. So we will be in line later. So the seek and destroy stage is looking great. Can't wait for it to open. It'll be part of the scare zones this year. They have some more bodies covered up over here. They looks like they have a new cover here for this one. So we're gonna go over here. Cool looking cover. And the barrels over here also have a new cover. And there are more bodies over here, and these have a different cover on them as well. So I don't think I covered the menu at the Tooth Fairy tent. So we're gonna go over there right now and show you what food they will be offering at the Tooth Fairy food tent. And this tent that says Sweet Shop is the tent being used for the Tooth Fairy. It's gonna be connected to the Tooth Fairy house. And here's the menu over here. You can pause the video to get a better look at the menu. More team members are lining up outside for the preview in the store. And these gray tents are just generic bar tents, like alcohol tents. So those are not going to be themed to any houses. Look at all these awesome team members entering the tribute store today. Right behind the Seek and Destroy ride vehicle, we have the carnival tent over here which is themed to the Icon's house, and we're gonna cover these menus as well. We have a menu right here. And that's the exact same menu as this one, but then we have another set of menus over here. That's also the same as the one on this side as well. And we have another barrel here at the end of Mummy. And it's all covered up, but we do have blood spatters all over the back side of it. This looks really cool. Shout out to Orlando Mike over here. He was in a video with me last week, so we filmed. And go check out my last video, because he's in that one. We're gonna finish walking through the Seek and Destroy Zone and continue to give you some park updates. We've been hanging out around the Tribute Store right now and it's like 11.30, so we're gonna get a quick run around the park before we head into the Tribute Store. Some more props for the Seek and Destroy Zone. Another bar tent over there that we did cover last time. It looks like we have a new food truck right outside the Crypt TV Zone. You can get some food there. I wonder if that'll be open during Halloween Horror Nights. Now we're about to enter the Crypt TV zone. There's also another food truck right behind that as well. It's right over there. So these are the updates in the Crypt TV zone. I don't think there is much going on. They have this like little voodoo stuff right here on the truss that looks kind of new. The bathroom scene over here. The food truck right over there. And it's open now. We have the Shelly scene. We have the Miss Anity and Itsy Bitsy Spider scene. Then we also have the door in the woods here. And then we have the little Christmas prop. And then we also have the Sunny Family Cult 
booth right here with the fog machine next to it as well. I don't see anything else new in the zone today except the little voodoo dolls on the trust. Here's another little voodoo thing on the other trust as well. They have a pretty cool bar tent over here. I didn't see this one last time. And they have a bunch of lighting right over it as well. So that's pretty cool. And that's right behind Pier 41 in Lombard's Landing. And we're going to go over here. We have a lighting truss. And we're just going to go this way. Doesn't look like there's much going on over here. We have the Chucky prop and the Wicked Growth tent over there. But also, it looks like we have red lighting on the bathrooms. And I wonder if this is for Horror Nights. I don't think the Chucky prop has changed much. It looks like the boxes are open. I think those are new additions. I'm not quite sure. We did check out the Wicked Growth food tent last time we were here. Pretty cool. And now, right behind it, towards Men in Black, we have the Halloween Nightmare Fuel sign for the new show coming to Halloween Horror Nights. We've got the dates for Halloween Horror Nights on there as well. The show is going to be awesome. A lot of fire based effects and in acts, including Pyro. And the Halloween Nightmare Fuel show will be in the Fear Factor stage this year. We can't see any of the updates going on in there. It's very hard to see from in the park. So we can't cover anything of that. And then there's the sign again. Very cool. Scary facade. Nothing has changed over there. Everything looks the same from what I can see. And we're gonna maybe get a ride of Men in Black. So we were about to ride in black and then I got word that people are starting to line up for the tribute store so we're heading back there right now really fast. So we just ran over here in like four minutes from Men in Black. Gotta get to this tribute store. So we're over at the tribute store now. Let's see if I can meet up with my friends in line. And this is the line to enter the tribute store. It's already going pretty far down right now. There's a new Horror Night freestyle cup you can get right outside in line for the tribute store i believe the cup those are the prices right there but now we're gonna head into the store and they're selling those right now and they're gonna be sold at halloween horror nights dragon's the other person that makes them too we have some of the schools from the tribute store from the designer herself Smells like Horror Nights and we're about to enter the house. So we're entering the tribute store. We have a lot of photos on the wall and everything. Some props here. It's great. It's really cool. Coming through a hallway. This is a really cool looking house. We have some merch over here already. So we have a lot of portraits all over the store. Remember you can pay $200 to get your portrait. We have a shirt here. We have the HHN bear right here. He looks sick. We have these skulls in here. It's like really cool. Like an organ with some screen there. The bear is awesome. Oh, we have treaks and foons looking masks over here. Yeah, it's a Treaks and Foons mask. That's awesome. A Legendary Truth decal there. We have a Nightingale here. We have a um, another bust of something over here with a lot of Icons merchandise that we've already seen so far. We have a stairwell here. It's really cool. Organs over here, just playing music before. That's just like a really cool house in here. A lot of props and decorations in this. Is that a Frank?
now we're gonna head into the second room. This one looks really cool. This looks like the icons room. So we have like a prop here. the icons room, bro. behind you. We have the storyteller. We got a screen here. We have the director over here. We have the usher. We have a bunch of masks you can buy, like masquerade type masks. A Chucky mask, the same Studio Screamers merch. We have a chant statue. We have some different props made over here. Winter's Night Cemetery model. And I'm hoping we see a lot of these houses featured this year that are referenced in here. We also have Fear's Lantern right here, which is the rumored facade for the Icon's house. We do have a cool creature back here. Who knows what that is. We have some more props in here. We have the Terror Queen motorcycle. We have some Jack the Clown stuff and some meaty meats. And then Terror Queen book. Some other stuff. The same icons merch we have seen before. We have all the little Screamer figures on display here, the whole collection of them. And we have the fireplace here with Jack the Clown. And he himself has his own video screen as well. More chandeliers in here, some really cool design work. Looks like a mansion type house. And this is probably Jack the Clown's house. A lot of Jack the Clown mugs over here. Shirts, the saw blade decal thing. And this is the second room. Some candles over here you can purchase. We have some icon models over here you can purchase. The Usher, some stuff down here. We have the Storyteller. This is actually the caretaker right here. He looks sick. Here's another view around this room. A little wider lens on here. You can really see all of the icons. <laughs> we already went over this, but I'll show you guys again. One more, one more quick look at the first room again. A little wider angle here. Not quiet in here. There's not much going on though. A lot of pictures all over the walls. So you remember how I mentioned in my videos you could buy your picture for $200 in the Five and Dime store. It looks like they put up all the pictures in this wall here. So we have some people here. We have Jackie from Super Enthused. And then we have Expedition Theme Park. We have Tim and Jen over here. Tim Trenton. I'm going to spend all my money. I do want to get the uh, Tim and shirt. Pictures everywhere on the wall. People who took their photos. We have everyone's photo in here. Yo, look at this guy. These photos look awesome. We have Rick's Flicks right over here. Where the heck is this girl? This line is pretty neat. I love how you can look at all the pictures on the way into the next room. The details in here are amazing. Taylor from Orlando Informer here. These pictures are really well hidden. So we're about to enter the third room here, and this is the Beetlejuice room. This is the Beetlejuice room here. We're about to enter it. There's a long line. I really do like the theming in here, though. Very different from last year's room. We are walking through the room now. It's awesome in here. 
All of the details are insane. Even though this is the Beetlejuice room, I don't really see any Beetlejuice like props from last year that they had. And it looks like a lot of the same merchandise we did see already in the park. We have this cool car right over here. Cemetery stuff. 4x6 something over there. It's a generic cemetery type room in here. A lot of cool props all around. Crazy. You can see how everything is black light reflective here. All this black light reflective, reflective stuff. I love like the windows, you're like in a greenhouse, it's really cool. It's got the Beetlejuice type colors around the room. We have the painted skulls in here as well. These look awesome. A lot of the merch in here though for Beetlejuice is what we've already seen. So there's nothing new so far in the store. A lot of all the limited preview merchandise for Horror Nights is what's in the store, nothing new yet. There's some cool plant stuff here. We're in a greenhouse, so it's very plant theming, cemetery looking, but it's all greenhouse. It's really cool. There's no IP thing in here, no licensing, but it looks really neat. And as you exit the third room, you have a lot of light up merchandise. So bracelets, gloves, headbands, staff looking things. And then as we enter the fourth room, we have a lot of other merchandise. So this, they have a green pumpkin here. Each of the wax, wax molds are $6. It's pretty cool. They have a Scare Zone shirt which we covered earlier. They also have the Don't Go Alone shirt. This is brand new. It's really cool. They also have a house shirt, unless this is the house shirt. Let's see the back. This looks like the house shirt. Sure. Yeah, this is the house shirt. This is cool. Yeah, I was just inquiring about this one. You said that they were all out. It is right the here. Houses. Really cool. It's the same design as the leaked one from last year without the Billie Eilish logo. Same design. This thing is $30. And we also have this design, which was on a poster last year. And this one looks like it's also $30. This is a really cool house, a uh, cool shirt. And that shirt is the Passover exclusive one, not the house shirt. This is the one with the um that was on the poster last year. Passover exclusive Frankenstein on the front. It, is. it says UAP on the sleeve here. Yeah, the name then, of the shirt is on, on the sleeve. It it's uh, it looks it awesome. It? We have this cool shack right here, and you can get a bunch of sweets and foods over here. We're gonna go check that out soon. They have the mystery pins over here, and they have more merch on this side here. Some more pass holder shirts and icons merchandise. We have tree branches everywhere, and we have Shady Brook carriage here. Looks like they have insane people in the carriage. It's a really cool prop. I like this. As we enter onto this carriage shack thing, here's what we have. Some saddle snacks, the popcorn, and we have a menu here for some food. We have Beetlejuice candies over here as well. And then we have the carriage house confectionery. And we have a lot of food here. Let's another look at the menu of what they have at the confectionery. It's just easier to see this menu. And here are the items here. So it's hard to what These look all really good and they smell really awesome too. We also have the Beating Heart Gummies. They're back from last year. Really, they were such a hit. And we have the Brain Gummies here too. These look awesome. This display is so cool. And the menu's here as well. 
And then that's pretty much it for the store. There's something at the very end, and we'll check that out in a minute. They have a little other items of merchandise you can buy as you go to checkout at the counter. It looks like the checkout counter are a bunch of horse saddles here. And right now they are out of the house shirt in the most popular sizes, so they will be bringing them back. But this carriage theming looks really cool. Really awesome theming. And we are going to exit the store now. We're going to show you what's down this hallway. Looks like we have the carriage again that we just saw, but it's all broken. Whoa, Township of Carrie. This is pretty sick. I love this part. One of my favorite rooms, just this little ending here. So I did just get out of the store, and I'm going to give my official review on it. A lot of great merchandise. Um, a lot of merchandise we have already seen in the parks. But, there's still really good merchandise. In the last room, there's a bit of merchandise that we haven't seen already. So it's really cool to see right there and then. Some other things about the store. Every room is original themed. So nothing based off of a property. Although they do have like Beetlejuice merchandise. It isn't like a Beetlejuice room to support it though. So the first room you have like, looks like a living area, family room. The second room is more of like the, uh, it's got all the posters of the icons, it's really cool. And then the third room is supposed to be Beetlejuice themed, but it's, it's more of a greenhouse to the mansion. And then the very last room is like a shack for like horses and stuff. And that's where they have all the snacks, and they have the house shirt in that room, and some other cool merchandise. Um, in the cases, they have a lot of display cases with other things you could buy, and props from some of the original houses in the past. Really cool looking. And overall, um, really cool tribute for Horror Nights fans in the past and everything. All the references in the store, really neat looking. Um, I do still like the tribute store better that they had last year. Um, I just really love that Beetlejuice room. I love the Jack the Clown Carnival tent. There's a lot. There's a lot of different things from last year's zone or last year's tribute store that I really enjoyed. This year does have a good tribute store though, and I definitely do recommend checking it out try some of the food in there just definitely visit it when you're in the parks or when you're here for Halloween Horror Nights it will be open during park hours and throughout Halloween Horror Nights it does look like it's starting to rain we have the gate still missing from over here and we have the Marathon of Mayhem Carnage Factory show sign right here and we aren't gonna go by Simpsons today because we're gonna be leaving soon so we won't be getting any facade views but I do have something else special to share for you guys. But right here we have a lot of new theming in the Gorewood Forest, which is the Terra Queen Zone. Let's check this out. These people really should not be sitting on it, and neither should you. Looks like all the trees are lined with the white stuff, which is all lighting. A bunch of skulls over here, some chains hanging down, a bunch of new props over here. There's also some hay looking plants over there. This zone looks the exact same from when we were here last time. Everything is the exact same except for the skulls in the front and the trees with the white lighting. That's all new. But everything else, all the same props here. Nothing much going on. And now we're going to head out of the park, but on the way out, we're going to go through the, um, the Eddie's Revenge Scare Zone. Lights, camera, action. And we're gonna see everything in here. I don't think there's many new updates in here either, but we'll check it out. Heading over this way now. We didn't ride Men in Black today and we're not going to, but we're over here. Looks like they added some speakers, some fog machines here. The generic graveyard cemetery stage. Then we have um, bigger scaffolding for projectors. We have the Vamp 55 stage right over here. And it looks like even though the tribute store has opened and people have those photos on the wall, you can still get your portrait. They're still available. So if you saw the photos in the tribute store and you're like, I want to get my photo in there still, you can still buy them They're right here. And this is right under the five and dime entrance. And that's where they had some Horror Night merchandise, and we have the Frankenstein here. 
These, all the merch in here is found in the tribute store. Looks like we have a couple more props added to the Tricks and Foon stage. And then we also have another projector here, and then the invasion stage looks the exact same as before. And here's the uh, truss entrance to the zone as well. So it was a pretty successful day. Short trip today. Just came to check out the tribute store. So we did get to ride Mummy today, and we will be back this coming Friday to for the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. So that's going to be really exciting. We're going to be seeing some of the archway decorations pop up the night before. But we'll see them when we come to the event for the first time. And we're going to be doing Stay and Scream in Springfield. So that's where I'm going to be that night. So we did get to cover a lot today. Hope you enjoyed the Tribute Store walkthrough. And we will be back, like I said. So stay tuned for that and subscribe so you don't miss my Horror Night videos during the event. So right now we are on a public road, okay? We are not backstage. But we do have a really cool backstage view to show you guys. And this is from a public road around Universal and look it's the Beetlejuice facade and they're using the same sticker one that they used for 2021 and we also have it looks like a scare zone set piece down there and we also have the haunting a hill house facade over there and some other trust beam thing you can see the outdoor facade for haunting a hill house and that's not going to be the full facade though, they are going to have a facade indoors. But this is the Beetlejuice one right here, you can see a doors opened. And we are not backstage as you can see, not backstage. And they do have a projection it looks like right over here onto the Beetlejuice facade. And they are using projectors on the Hill House one as well. That's part of why the truss beam is there. It looks like they have also covered some stuff up, maybe those are parade floats. I can't see the little house portals over here, like the entrances to the house the little trust beam things we did see them in aerial photos and I can't see anything else worth noting it looks like there's a body on that scare zone piece though I'm gonna have to get the big lens out and zoom in a little bit for you guys here's a closer look at that haunting a hill house facade and that's just a sticker on the building there is an actual facade inside the house okay and then we have a really cool scare zone set piece here like I just mentioned and we have a body right there as well I don't know if this is a finished set and I have no clue what zone that's going to be in but it might not be in a zone that might be part of the house and it might be a scene from a house that they're going to rework and maybe edit a few things with it before it opens. I have no clue. It looks really cool. <laughs> There's some other props in the Beetlejuice once again. So that road that we were on it was right off of Universal Boulevard, which is a public road, and there were also a ton of cars on that road, so it seemed pretty public. And I'm just going to be clear, I did not go backstage when I filmed those clips, and I do not want anyone to go backstage that's not a team member, and you're not allowed to take photos and videos back there either, so don't do that. Follow me on my social media on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft, and on Instagram, at Florida Theme Park Pick. Stay tuned for the next video, and thank you.